an example to define a fine soil using a grading curve and plasticity chart under the unified soil classification system. So we're just going to jump straight in. We've been given the particle size against the percents finer, or I like to think of it of the percents passing through. We've been given a range of values, a range of diameter sizes against how much has passed through. We've also been given the liquid limit and the plastic limit. So this data might have been um, obtained from a laboratory experiment where we use sieves and a hydrometer, say. So what we could do with these values is we can plot on a soil grading curve, okay? And this is very simple. All it is is the percents finer against the particle size. Another interesting thing is that we know that from the first video we had ranges of particle sizes. We had gravels, which range from 2 to 60 millimeters. We had sands, which range from 0 0.06 to 2 millimeters. We had silts, which range from 0 0.002 to 0 0.06 millimeters. And clays, which was anything less than 0 0.002 millimeters. So I've just done this in Photoshop to make it easy for you guys to see the different spectrum of particle sizes, which I've superimposed on this graph. So very easy to graph. Let's just see how we graph this. We had particle size 2 millimeters and we had 100% finer. So all I did was I went to 2 millimeters and I went up to 100% finer and I drew in a little cross. The next point I had was 0.6 and 97%. So 0 0.6 is 2, 0.23456 around there. I jutted up to up here which is around 97%. And I drew in a little cross and I connected those points. And I did that for every single coordinate between particle size and percents finer. And I just joined all those dots to get this um, grading curve. And this now shows us a uh, graphical distribution of the particle sizes and how they are uh, distributed graphically. So if we now jump into the example, so we're doing the unified soil classification system. The first thing on our flowchart was the amount passing through 0.075 millimeters, right? So that's the first thing we need to see. So 0.075 is a critical value. So we're going to come either to our table. So if we saw 0.075, we can see that 84% has passed through. So 84% has passed through. the 0.075 millimeter sieve, which means that 84% is fine. 84% of our soil sample has particle sizes less than 0.075 millimeters in diameter. And we knew that a fine soil is defined when more than 50%, so the majority is fine. And you can see that 84% is obviously the majority. So we're definitely dealing with a fine soil. We could have also seen this graphically from our flowchart, sorry, from our grading curve. So 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.75 is up that point there, and that's at around 84%. So we can see that everything below this is fine, and this just continues on, but um, we can't measure beyond 0 0.02, because it's too fine. So another interesting point I need to tell you is that this is a log scale. As you can see, it looks a bit funny. An interesting thing about a log scale is that if we have 1 and 10, on a normal scale, the midpoint between that value would be 5. On a log scale, it's around 3. So just keep that in mind for log scales. So grading curves are always done in a log scale. So let's go on now. So now, from our flowchart, we've seen that it's a fine material, which means that we need to use this plasticity chart. So what is the plasticity chart? The plasticity chart graphs the liquid limit against the plasticity index. So we need to know these two parameters. So if we were to go find them, we know we've been given the liquid limit equals 66, and the plastic limit is 26. But we need the plasticity index. And we know from the previous video that the plasticity index, I subscript P, is equal to the liquid limit minus the plastic limit, which in our case will be 66 minus the plastic limit, which is 26, and this will equal 40. So we're going to graph these two values. So 66 and 40. So liquid limit was 66, which is around here. And the plastic limit, which is 40, which takes us to a value around there. And we are in this section of the graph, 
we're in that's in this triangle here, and anything in this triangle is defined as a CH. So our soil we have successfully defined as a CH, which is a high plasticity clay. Okay, so it's a very simple process. Uh, essentially, I don't really need to do a soil grading curve for this example. It's not so necessary because for a fine soil, I just need to know the amount passing through, the liquid limit and the plastic limit to then give me the, um, the plasticity index, which I then use this plasticity chart to determine. So I've just done the soil grading curve to show you how it works because we definitely need it for the next couple of videos. It's not, we can't just um, ignore it, but for the coarse grain soils, which you're going to be seeing in the next videos, we have to do a soil grading curve. So I've just introduced it in this video. So just a quick summary, we were given the table which allowed us to do a soil grading curve, which wasn't that necessary for this example, but I just did it. The first thing in our flow chart was the amount passing through 0 0.075, which if it was a majority, which it was, we had 84% passing through. That means we had to use the plasticity chart and we needed this liquid limit and the plasticity index and that allowed us to determine the name of our fine soil. Anyway guys, hope that helps.